Okay, coming up here uh, very quickly, March 30th, uh, or depending on when you're seeing this, uh, maybe it's already happened, but Facebook is switching all of the pages, that style, uh, over to the timeline function. So here's a page, and, and this is actually just one of my test kitchens. Uh, and this is the old style where we could do a long image and we had tabs and all that. And that's, boy, that should be old news to pretty much everybody. But uh, I want to show you very quickly. So I'm going to switch it over to preview. And so preview is just right now all the admins. Now on March 30th, they're going to switch it over and everybody is going to be able to see it. And this is you know one of my things now anyway. So I'm going to hit publish now. So everybody will be able to see this. So what I want to do is I want to add a cover image. And so now that it's published and gone is my big tall avatar, I've only got a little square one, which is 180 by 180, by the way, uh, pixels wide. But what I want to do is I want to add uh, a cover image. Now, that cover image could be 851 pixels by 315. Uh, that's the optimal size. If you do larger than that, and I'm going to show you what happens when I do larger. So. Uh, I'm going to upload a photo and I'm going to come over here and I've actually put it in uh, a folder. So right now it's uploading and actually what I did was I took the little warning, use that as a example. Um, and right over the top it says drag to reposition the cover. And so I can kind of move it up and down. Ooh, I can't move it left and right. So here's a big thing to figure out before you're going to upload the, the image. This one was 900 by 400. Facebook scrunched it to 851 but they left a, a certain amount of length. So they did squish it a little bit, but they didn't squish it uh, completely to fit in. So I have the ability to drag it up and down. So given that, what I would do if I was you is I would create an image that's 851 pixels tall and then give it some buffer room up on top and down below so that you can drag it so that what happens is your image is not squished it is the exact way that you were looking at it, 851 pixels wide, but you can move it up and down just so you can match up this little part and make sure you get it right. Then when you do, just click save, and now this is your new cover image. And of course you can change that at any point in time. So uh, if you haven't already, you need to change your cover image. That's the best way to do it. 850, a little bit more. Um, don't do 315 unless you've got the exact perfect image and you know it.